never shy away from controversial topics. And today is no exception. My guest Jenny Sansusi and I will be discussing the healing properties of cannabis, CBD, and medicinal mushrooms. Jenny is a health coach, wellness blogger, and the author of the new book, The Rebel's Apothecary, a practical guide to the healing magic of cannabis, CBD, and mushrooms. Now, she became an expert on these ancient rem remedies after her father was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. As it turns out, something that was once considered taboo was key in helping her dad. So she's here today to tell you how you can use these plants and fungi safely. Jenny, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for having me. Well, this is gonna be fun. So can you start by telling our listeners about why and how you got interested in mushrooms and cannabis? Sure, yeah. Um, well, in 2017, Thanksgiving 2017, my dad was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer, as you said. And that moment was a real before and after moment in my life. Um, if anyone you know, has been diagnosed with cancer and knows someone diagnosed with cancer, you know that hearing that information just completely changes your life in one instant. So as soon as he got diagnosed, I knew that I wanted to help in whatever way I could, whether that was with nutrition or supplements or you know, cooking for him or finding remedies that could work for him, plant-based remedies, anything that I could you know, could get my hands on, I wanted to, I wanted to try to find for him. And I had been working in the wellness world for many years. And I had some connections with functional medicine doctors and people in the wellness arena. And so I had this arsenal of people to reach out to and ask, you know, what are the things that I should look into when it comes to helping someone with not only treating the cancer, but really helping with the chemotherapy side effects and the immune system because I knew that, I didn't know much about chemo or cancer at the time, but I did know that it, that chemo can really affect the immune system and people can not tolerate it sometimes because their immune system is so weakened. So I just thought, you know, what can I do to help my dad? And I just went full force into the research and cannabis and medicinal mushrooms were the two things I kept hearing about over and over again. And once I started to dive into the research there, it was really, really promising. So that's that's the route we decided to go on. So just so that everybody understands, your dad uh, was getting chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And so um, you're not going to come on and say, you, my dad never got chemotherapy. All he did was uh, ha have a joint and chew on a mushroom and he's cured. <laughs> no, in fact, in fact, my dad was definitely sure that he wanted to go the traditional chemotherapy route for treating his cancer. And I was not about to try to, you know, get him to do otherwise. I'm, I'm not a doctor. So I was not gonna, I wasn't gonna go there. But I knew that I could support him with some home remedies. And we, you know, we talked to his oncologist, and we got his oncologist on board with all the different things we were trying. And he said, you know, I don't know if this is going to help, but it probably won't hurt. So go ahead, and we'll just keep monitoring his progress. So he has the, you know, the chemotherapy regimen at the hospital. And then we've had our our home regimen that we've been doing on the side. You know, that's actually great to hear because um, I work with a lot of cancer patients as well. And so many of their, their oncologists tell them, no, you know, you may not do alternative therapies during right. this chemotherapy. You know, how dare you? Don't even come near this stuff. It will hurt your chances. So tell me, actually, tell us about that process. How'd you, uh, how'd you find an oncologist that lets you do this, number one? Yeah, that's a really good point because I hear that from so many people that their oncologist said, no, absolutely not. Don't try cannabis, you know, medicinal marijuana, CBD, mushrooms. It, they say maybe it will hurt or they just don't have enough information about it to be able to say it's okay. And luckily for us, uh, we, we were paired with an oncologist who was open-minded to it. He definitely did not recommend that we do it. And he said, you know, this may not do anything, but I'm not going to tell you no. So he didn't, we were really lucky in that sense because a lot of oncologists don't do that. So what I always tell people to do is when they speak to their oncologist about potentially using home remedies and their oncologist says, no, maybe you'll agree with this. I always say, what's the exact reason why they're saying no? Is there something specific to your condition? Maybe there is. Maybe there is a drug interaction. Maybe there is something 
very specific to you and you shouldn't use these home remedies. Or, you know, if not, like maybe ask the oncologist if you oncologist if you could try it for one cycle, you know, until your next scan and see if everything is still okay. You know, if there's not a specific reason to you, maybe maybe they'd be willing to just let you see how it goes for one cycle. So what made you tell us about the your research? that said, you know, we need to look into cannabis and CBD and medicinal mushrooms. What brought that to the forefront? Well, one of the things that happened really early on when my dad first got diagnosed is he watched a documentary about medical marijuana and it was and he had just recorded it because he thought it looked interesting. He wasn't even interested in it for himself. He just wanted to watch it. And it was all about cancer patients that were using medical cannabis and having really good results, you know, not only with their cancer.